Good morning! Welcome to a new vlog and a day in my life. Um, this is gonna just be a daily vlog, not a weekly vlog. Okay, so I woke up early, went on a run with my friend Chloe and now I just got back. I'm gonna shower. I need to get a thing done for work and then I'm heading out because I have a hairdresser appointment. I'm really excited. Like my hair has become pretty long, like up until my shoulders. And it's really at this point where you either decide to cut it back short or um, get it long. And I'm at this point where I'm, I really want it short again. Also like summer's coming. Um, yeah, and this time I'm gonna get like some highlights done, um, more so like a balayage. Um, I never did like any, like at least in the last, what, seven, eight years, I haven't done any like highlight, highlights on my hair or anything like that. My hair just got blown with the sun and I also used once like a, a product that would help my hair become lighter in the summer. Um, I'm not gonna recommend it because I don't think it was really that great and it did dry out my hair quite a bit. Um, so I'm very, very excited and see what it's gonna look like because I haven't been like really blonde in years. And I mean, I don't know how blonde I'm actually really gonna get, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting. And I'm really excited to have my hair like real short again. Um, yeah, so that's the plan right now, shower time. And then I'll take you along for the rest of the day um, and share some new exciting things with you. Um, so, I finally got my car. Can you believe? I feel like I did this, the vlog of like me getting the car two or three months ago. It's definitely been at least a month and a half, maybe two. Just took me a lot of time to go, get like all the paperwork done, but it's finally done, and I'm very happy about it. It's um, just really nice. Still have a few things to do. Oh my god, it's so cold. Um, so I just finished the project that I needed to work on, and now I'm going to the hairdresser. Um, which I'm really, really excited. My hair has gotten long, guys. I cut it around here in November. Look how much has grown. I mean, it's all, almost been six months already. So, yeah, I guess that's one thing. Um, I will show you what my hair looks like when I'm at the hairdresser. We're waiting for the highlights to settle and now we're gonna do rinse it off when it's done and do the cut because she cut me already a bit but she's gonna cut some more. I'm really excited. I'm back home and I got my hair cut. I got it shorter than the first time that I really cut my hair short. Because I really like that length and I wanted it to have it like just a tiny bit shorter so that like because I've noticed like the last time I cut my hair in November it grew like this much until now so I just want to have a little bit of margin and I wanted to try and go a little bit shorter um, and I'm just very very happy my friend Cherla cut my hair a link the salon where she works down below. Um, that's where I go all the time. Well, I don't go all the time, I go maybe twice a year. And she did a balayage on me. Um, it's definitely lighter, but it's very natural. And that's really, um, I really like it because I didn't want to go like full on blonde, especially because my hair gets super, super blonde in the summer already. So this is just only gonna get lighter from now on in the summer. And I didn't want it to get like white to blonde, you know? So, and it looks very light, br like light in the sun as well. 
right now I'm in the shade, but it makes my hair just very shiny and it feels very light. I feel like I lost a lot of weight that was like <laughs> gathered on my head. So um, it feels awesome. I just made it. Ouch, I'm not in a comfortable position right now. <laughs> I'm just like sitting in the weird position of my chair so I can be tall enough for the camera. Um, just made myself a smoothie bowl. What's new? <laughs> Um, yeah, with peanut butter and oat yogurt because they were out of coconut yogurt when I went grocery shopping and some nuts and seeds. That's going to be my lunch and I'll see what I do today. I have a couple work things to do and it's also like the only sunny day this week, but it's pretty cold. My friend Chloe made me want to go on a bike ride later. So if it's not too cold, we may go. And many of you have asked me like, what haircut do I ask for when I go to the hairdresser? Because I'm aware a lot of you don't necessarily live in Switzerland. Um, honestly, the best thing you can do for hairdressers is to bring them pictures. So I like um, share, like downloaded some pictures from int uh, Pinterest that I really love their haircut or the color. And then I just showed it to her and, um, but basically what she's doing is like a short bob. It's all at the same length. I still have a couple hair here in the front that are a little bit shorter because I used to have bangs. Um, so like if you would want that, you could ask for like long bangs maybe, or just like a l just a few tiny pieces in the front that are a little bit shorter. But otherwise it's all at the same height, also in the back. And for the, um, color, she did a balayage, uh, which is like highlights, but it's a technique that makes highlights look very, very natural. And when it grows back, you don't see like the line, uh, which allows you to go maybe like twice a year or three times a year instead of like every couple months, um, compared to like regular highlights. So it's, it's actually kind of worth it. And um, it has this way more natural finish and I hadn't colored my hair in yeah seven to eight years so and this looks like very very natural it look, just looks like I went in the sun so I'm very pleased with it and I'm happy like I like I want it to be even lighter than this but because we're heading into the summer it's gonna get lighter than this anyways so I wanted to have a little bit of margin so that I don't finish like completely like super bright like almost white blonde I mean yeah and then like up here it's still all my natural color there's a lot of hair that's not been um dyed so yeah that's it oh, I'm gonna have lunch now and I'll check back in a little later I'm back <laughs> um I spent a couple of hours on the balcony replying to messages because I wanted to make um enjoying the sun, productive, and I had a lot of messages to reply to, so that is done, because that's something I haven't done in a while. I received a parcel this morning, and I didn't open it because I wanted to open it with you guys, um, and I haven't found some time to do it until now, so I'm going to do it now. Well, I opened the parcel, but I didn't open what was in there. Um, it's a... Marcel from Denis Rubel, which is a vegan handbag company. I've had one of their handbags already. And they sent me this bottle. So, um, let's see what they sent in this. Oh, I guess that's the lemonade. There we go. Um, so they sent the recipe to do the, the cocktail with this. And I'm definitely going to try this because, you know, it's getting into summer and I'm having time with friends and I do drink alcohol every once in a while, but I usually avoid it or only have a little bit of it um, because I'm just not a fan of a lot of alcohol and I usually avoid it if it's possible. So yeah, that's going to be really nice to try. I've never tried this, uh, any rose lemonades before. And this is the handbag from the new collection, I guess. How 
like leather it's such good quality I'm very impressed to be honest like inside is like this and there's a little pocket there very lovely very very nice just made some afternoon snack this is something I'll have uh, sometimes in the afternoon when I'm hungry and I want to have something quick. Um, it's just rice crackers. This is one leftover cracker that I had. And then on top it's avocado with lemon juice, salt, pepper, olive oil. And this is some um, olive and sun-dried tomato tofu. one. I mean, we did say this morning with Chloe that we may go on a bike ride, but yeah, we're going on a bike ride this afternoon because it's a beautiful, beautiful weather and it's the only sunny day this whole week until this weekend. It's not super warm, but it's not freezing in the afternoon. So yeah, that's what we're going to do now. while I was in the bath and that was like it was such a good time and why did I not do this earlier um that was really lovely and very sunny day so I'm happy I went out because we don't know how this week is gonna be well it looks not so great so far um let me show you what I make for dinner so, I was craving something very healthy and simple. So I made some salad. It's a mix of a lot of greens like spinach and lettuce and cucumber. There's a little bit of corn in it and pumpkin seeds. And I made a sunflower seeds dressing. So I need to talk to you guys about this. Um, recently I've started doing seed cycling, well at least tried to, which basically um, seed cycling stands for um, eating certain seeds at a certain time within your cycle and especially if you're having trouble with your period or if you're having cramps, um, apparently it helps like reduce or like just regulate your hormones a lot. Um, so I've been doing this. I haven't noticed a tremendous difference because I haven't done it like long enough for me to have noticed um, 
like tremendous difference in my cycle, but I don't think my cycle, my last cycle was really painful. Um, so a way to make it easier to eat those seeds, I mean, it's pretty easy to eat seeds. Like I put them on my smoothie bowls and on my salads. Um, there's a mix of both seeds, which you're not really supposed to do. So it's not a good example here, but let me show you the dressing I made. Well, it's almost, yeah, completely empty. But I made this salad dressing out of sunflower seeds and it's super creamy and delicious. Um, I got inspired from Lauren's recipe from Hot For Food. Maybe you know her channel. That like was a recipe that I checked a long, long time ago so I had no idea how close to it it is. But basically, I put at the bottom of my blender like this much of sesame seeds, so like maybe a cup or two. And I, co I covered it in water and then I put lemon juice, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, lemon, well lemon juice, um, a clove of garlic, which you could totally leave out if you don't like it, um, salt, pepper, and that was that. Oh, I added um, Dijon mustard, but you could also totally leave that out. Um, I didn't add any sweetener, so you could add a little bit of uh, maple syrup if you wanted to just balance it out a little bit but yeah it's really delicious and I fill out this bottle with that quantity and that will last me like about a week and you can keep it in the fridge it won't go bad at least for a week and I just drizzle it on my salads and so every evening or whenever I want to have a salad which lately has been a lot because it's getting into spring and I've just been feeling like eating a lot more like cold and fresh foods um, and it's just so easy when like you already have the dressing made um, so yeah love this you can make a tahini based one which is sesame based I wouldn't recommend doing that with flax seeds because flax seeds absorb the water and they're gonna get into a glue so I would encourage you to use pumpkin seeds. You could totally do a dressing like this with pumpkin pumpkin seeds during the other phase as well. It will have a different, slightly different color because of the pumpkin seeds color, but yeah. So that's a tip <laughs> if you want to try seed cycling. And let me know in the comments if you've tried it already and if you noticed like um, improvement in your cycle or something like that. Um, and the rest of my dinner is just some steamed broccoli and mushrooms. So yeah, just like simple, lots of veggies. So I'm just recording this part because I just realized there was a piece of spinach stuck in my teeth the whole time I was talking and yeah, it was just very distracting. So I'm gonna do it again. Before ending this vlog, I wanted to address something that I haven't shared with you guys yet. And that is that I'm gonna be leaving. And I'm already gone by the time you see this video. Uh, during most of May, I'm taking a vacation. I'm taking time off and I'm distancing myself a little bit from social media. Um, YouTube wise, not much is gonna change for you because there's still gonna be weekly uploads. Um, I have a very, very exciting launch coming next week. Um, and the video is gonna go live on Friday instead of Saturday, but that's something I'm super excited to share with you all and Then in the end of May, I have a Q&A coming which was recorded before I left I am at a place in my life right now where I just want to be really present where um, I also want to take time off from work a little bit so that I can recenter myself a little bit more on what I want to be doing on this channel in the future. It's very easy to like fall into a loop of uh, creating certain videos when you're doing this week in week out and um, it feels like the past few months for me I've been kind of an on an autopilot machine where I would just like create videos every week, one week after another, but didn't really allow me the space to be creative and create something different. Um, so yeah, that is something that I 
feel is going to really benefit my work to also take time off and just come back with a little bit of a fresh start and some creativity so that uh, will be most likely in June. I haven't taken a proper vacation in over a year now and you know with COVID we've been at home a lot and it's just been um, very repetitive and I'm someone who works from home so even if I take time off here at home I don't really ever disconnect from work so I worked a lot over the last few months in order for me to have a few weeks off work in the upcoming weeks so right now when you're seeing this video and then for another two weeks yeah so that I could really just take a break um which I don't do at all or ever or yeah so it, it's really needed for me right now and I really want to and but don't worry I'm not disappearing as I said there's still going to be the weekly uploads on this channel I may be a little less present on Instagram who knows I'm not sure yet but I just want to let you know I hope that you can understand and I hope that you uh, will enjoy the uploads that are going on right now and will keep going on in the next two weeks yeah I just wanted to say a big thank you for all of your support and kind messages and words it really feels like no matter what you guys are always going to support me so it truly really means a lot and I'm just very very thankful that we were able to create this loving and safe community on here and yeah I'm just very grateful for all, all of you guys and I hope that you're all doing well and I will see you in a few weeks and don't worry, you'll see um, uploads coming in the upcoming weeks. I just want to make a big, big hug to every single one of you. Um, I hope you're all well. Also, big thank you for watching this vlog and sticking around with me and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye. Thank you.